Hi Sagittarius, this is a general love reading for mid-April 2021 for your Sun, Moon, Rising and or Venus signs. It is general, so it's not going to resonate for all of you, but you can check out one of your other signs or one of your person's other signs if that's the case, or you can get a personal reading, which if you do um, want a personal reading, please do read the description box, all right, the instructions there. And of course, feel free to email me if you have any questions. All right, let's see. <clears throat> also keep in mind that the roles can be reversed. And let's see what's going on with Sagittarius. Mid-April. All right, we have third party and we have release. All right, okay, well, pretty clear message here. <laughs> All right, so if there is no third party in your situation, this reading is probably not going to resonate for you. Third party does not have to be a romantic partner. It could be another person, any person, or it could be a situation like work, for example, or an addiction, all right? Whatever the case is, <clears throat> this third party is in the process of being released, all right, clearly, or that is the issue here. All right, let's see. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So I actually have a, um, a question for you guys. Those of you who watch me regularly, if you, let me know if you have a preference to the spreads that I use. Um, today's spread, I'm going to be looking at your energy and their energy separately, and then what's coming up in the near future. Normally I do like this other, like, um, like a Celtic cross variation. <clears throat> so if you've noticed, do let me know. I'd be curious. All right. So Sagittarius for you, we have the King of Swords, the Four of Wands and the Lovers. All right. Hold on. Let me get their energy as well. The Nine of Cups. <clears throat> the Eight of Wands, and the world. All right. So for you, it feels like you're very determined here. I feel like you're just very firm. You're, you're very decisive when it comes to what it is that you want and how you feel about this person. And I feel like pretty much that's that you feel like this is where you belong, like you belong with each other. I feel like you feel like there's a very strong bond here with this person. Um, and it could be that it is you having to make a decision here um, between a third party <clears throat> and someone else. All right, again, roles can be reversed, so take it as it resonates, but I'll see more when, when we clarify. For them, we have the Nine of Cups, the Eight of Wands, and the World. I think I already said that. So definitely this person, though, as well, this is something that they really, really want with you. And I do see some action or communication taking place here. Um, definitely <clears throat> something closing out though here with the world. I feel like either there's like a big goal that is being achieved um, by them or something that is being completed. Like they're just quickly moving towards a completion. So it almost feels like, I, I don't know, I'm just getting a very similar energy from the both of you. Let's see. We'll see more when we clarify, but let me see the, the near future. We have the Two of Wands, the Two of Pentacles, and Temperance. And a final message for you is the Tower. Ooh, okay. So it does feel like there's um, a little bit of waiting here, a little bit of trying to balance something out, trying to really, maybe even to keep the peace. Um, in some situation. So I do feel like there is a little bit of patience that might be required here. I know I hate having to say that, but I feel like there is some patience here um, while things are sorted, because I feel like things are going to be a little rough coming up, even though that I do feel like there is definitely a third party being released. I actually, I mean, I'm almost seeing that from both of your ends. In, and it could just be just for the one of you. It could be that one of you is releasing a third party and the other one of you is um, 
and bringing that to an end and then the other one of you is also having to make a decision maybe related to something else but that's what it feels like and I, so i feel like that's going to create a little bit of a, an uproar in things but then after that i do feel like peace is coming in however <clears throat> I feel like this might be a little longer term, as I said, that's why I'm also saying patience here, um, because we also have the tower as the message for you. So I feel like this is a message to kind of expect things to get a little intense. All right. Um, and yeah, you know, I mean, that could definitely be the case when something big or something um, significant is being released. It's not always easy, and that's what I'm seeing here. So there's a little bit of waiting while things settle. Let's clarify. Alright, let me see that King of Swords for you. Alright, we have the Three of Swords the Eight of Wands, and the Three of Cups. All right, so you've been, <clears throat> I feel like you've been hurt um, a lot in the past, and I feel like this is why now you're feeling very, very, I feel um, determined, like just knowing exactly what it is that you want. And I feel like you do want a reconciliation or a coming together with this other person here. Um, however, I, I do also feel like there's a lot of pain here. I feel like there's been a lot of movement, there has been a lot of communication and possibly even painful communication. Not necessarily um, heavy words being used or anything like that. Just that, you know, maybe the um, you weren't hearing what you had, what you would have wanted to hear. Like things didn't work out in the way you would have wanted them to work out when it comes to this... Um, to this relationship, to this connection, to this coming back together or coming together. I feel like, yeah, the, the communication was definitely painful for you. Um, and at the, you know, and I'm also getting maybe for some of you, you may have even gotten a little bit more um, just rigid in the sense of maybe pulling away, maybe feeling a little bit cold um, or distancing yourself from this. And that was because of the pain. Let me see the four of wands. King of Pentacles and the Chariot. It's interesting because I feel like there was movement here. I feel like this is... Um, because I feel like this, this King of Pentacles is representing your person and I feel like there was movement towards you by them. Again, roles can be reversed. Um, but I feel like there was definitely some movement towards you and that this definitely felt like it was something very, um, very strong. Like there was just a very strong bond here between the two of you. And I feel like you still feel that and you would still want them to, to come forward. And maybe even there might be a little bit of impatience here as well um, on your end for this, for this stability, for this to, to come through. Let me see the lovers. The Knight of Cups, the King of Cups, and the Ten of Wands. Yeah, you know, I feel like <clears throat> you, you have really felt... Um, you felt the love from this person. You felt this coming in. I don't. I don't think you really doubt how they feel about you. I feel like you. You know. Um, but I feel like you're just exhausted. You're tired of carrying this burden of of this not having um, come fully together here. It's interesting though because I also feel like like for some of you you might even have other offers coming in. And I almost have 
have a feeling that you might not be that accepting of them because you still feel the burden of this other connection here. Let's see what's going on with them. Let's see the Nine of Cups. All right, the Page of Wands, the Sun, and the Six of Cups. I'm trying to understand what it is that's really going on here because I mean, I really feel like this person is um, <clears throat> wanting this, wanting this connection with you. Um, they're definitely wanting a, either a reconciliation if you're not together, they're really wishing that this could come to be and that th th things could move forward. For some of them, I'm also getting that there's some nostalgia here. Let me see the Eight of Wands. The Lovers, the Two of Wands, and the Three of Wands. Yeah, see, you're both feeling the same way about, about each other. That's the thing here. You're both, now they have the Lovers as well. I'm telling you, I feel like a very similar vibe. Coming from the both of you, um, and I haven't called out any any signs, any other any zodiac signs um, for what you might be dealing with because I feel like we have quite a bit of them. Um, so it's I'm not seeing one particular sign stand out a lot. Although some of you could be dealing with the Gemini having the lovers out twice. Um, <clears throat> Here's the thing, they're moving quickly towards towards some kind of a closure, some kind of a completion, as I said, but at the same time, it's like as that's happening, the movement towards you, which I feel like there is also movement towards you, all right, um, with the lovers being here, um, there's some kind of a delay, There's some that's taking a little bit longer, there's fast movement towards a completion, which I feel is that third party, but then there's a slower movement when it comes to you. Um, there's a little bit of a, of a waiting, of a stalling possibly, and I mean that does make sense if this is something that needs to be closed out first. Uh, let me see the world. Alright, we have the Nine of Cups again, <laughs> and the Empress. Give me one sec. Whatever it is that, that they're closing out, all right, whatever um, situation that this is, it's, it's leading them right to you. It's leading them towards that Nine of Cups. Like I said, you know, they want this. They know what makes them happy. It's the, and they want this reconciliation, right? Nine of Cups. And then look at that. By closing this out, that's what it's leading them to. It's just taking a little bit of time. There's a lot of thinking, I feel. There's a lot of planning. Let's see the, the Two of Wands in the near future, which is pretty much, you know, what we just got. <clears throat> All right, the Seven of Cups, the Five of Swords, and the Knight of Swords. All right, so, you know, I mean, coming up during this waiting period, and I feel like this is going to be you. Um, I feel like, you know, during this phase, this phase is a little difficult for you because, because it might create a little bit of confusion. It might create a little bit of confusion. You might feel like you don't know if you can trust this person, if you don't know if you can trust the process, but what I'm getting here is that there actually is movement. All right, with that Knight of Swords, something is definitely happening here. All right, again, it just it's just that it's taking a little bit of time. Don't let it get to you. I feel like it, it really is just creating, um, 
confusion for you, but I feel like that is like, you know, it's in your own mind. It's your own um, doing. The confusion, I mean. It's kind of like, you know, just let it be, let it be what it is. There is some, some kind of a completion here leading this person to you, right to you. Let me see the Two of Pentacles. Like, this is actually a very, very positive reading. Uh, let's see. Two of Pentacles clarified by the Five of Cups and the Four of Swords. I feel like what this waiting is, um, the reason why there's, there might be a little bit of a delay is because someone really, which I feel is the other person, would really need to deal with releasing this past, all right? Whatever that third party is, it's something that, you know, they might have some kind of an emotional attachment to in one way or another. It could be something that they feel um, guilt towards. It could be um, whatever, just something that's causing them grief. It's just something that is not very easy for them to handle <clears throat> Like I said, you know, it's going to be a little bit stormy. And that storm, you know, does create some grief. And that's something that's going to that's going to need some time to heal. All right? So I feel like this is exactly why there might be a little bit of a waiting period and it's not going to really serve you to um, allow yourself to just, you know, freak out about it. Um, yeah, let's see temperance. The Four of Wands and the Ace of Swords. Yeah, see, so definitely, you know, with this healing, which does take time, as I said, you know, in the beginning, that it, it is something that needs a little bit of time. But look at what that brings. That brings the Four of Wands and the Ace of Swords, which is a new beginning here. A new beginning with that stability that you want. All right, it's like you're, wait you're waiting for that to come in, that stability to come in, right? That King of Pentacles to come in as that chariot for that Four of Wands energy. It's right here. It is coming. It's just taking a little bit of time. And when it does come, it's going to be it's going to be real. All right, let's see the tower. I mean, even with this here, I, I see this as this person really coming in towards you. All right, so clarifying the tower, we have the Two of Swords and the Five of Pentacles. Yeah, like I said, this is why it's going to take time because this there's a tower that needs to happen here. All right, no, this release, whatever it is, it's not something small, it's not something easy. It's something that is going to create a storm. It's going to create a lot of doubt, a lot of hesitation, um, a lot of not knowing what to do, but that's something that needs to happen before you can get to this beautiful energy here of the temperance four of wands and ace of swords all right there's definitely going to be some feelings of loss um so you know just being aware of that might help you through this as well so sagittarius very positive reading yeah there is a little bit of of a struggle here for sure i feel mostly for the other person um or whoever it is that is releasing this third party energy. All right, and then for you, it's really just, you know, trusting, trusting the process and just being a little patient, you know, and giving this person time to heal the grief of this storm that is going to be brought up. All right, so if this resonated, let's see your final message and please do give me a thumbs up. All right, and we have oh, actually had two fly out. So we have pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. And I feel like that's mostly related to um, your own, the, the confusion that you cause to your own self. All right, that's down here. Um, 
whatever that means to you, okay? And then we also have, it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of love. So yeah, it's safe for you to love. Um, I feel like, you know, like I said, this is going to be real. So yeah, take that as it resonates. All right, Sagittarius, those are your messages and I thank you so much for watching. Much love.